it's about books, no less. We're going to be chatting about some, yeah, of the new books that we're going to be reading. So I've got a bit of a new book haul. But Laura does a lot of soft spoken videos and role plays on her channel as well. perfectly with a lot of the men. 
books right here that I'm going to show you and I'm going to tell you about them and of course because this is ASMR I'm going to make lots of nice tingly 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 sounds with the books as well okay so just sit back and relax 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 maybe you'll get some ideas for books that you journey across the rural American 
separated by distance, but whose stories are woven together in the most unexpected of ways. Whether they are brought together by the spread of wildfire, or by the priest who is moved from state to state, or by the hunt for a missing child, these incredible tales blaze with secrets, rage, and love. So yeah, apparently she wrote a book that I've not heard of to be honest, but she had quite a big success with a book called The Smell of Other People's Houses. So have you heard of it? I don't know, I've not heard of it, but I thought this one sounds really good and interesting and as I say, I do like um, like little short stories. Ash falls 
from the sky, bringing Midian, meddler and magician. The siblings discover the power that lies within them and the land, but fate also brings Tristan, a warrior whose secrets will tear them apart. Mm. Sounds really good. So yeah, that's Sister Song. Sister Song, Sister Song, Sister Song. It says here at the back that it's uh, Love and Death, Magical Ancient Britain. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one over there. Alright, so I've got two more books left. One, two. Sorry, I had to press pause there because I had a bit of a cough. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> so I pressed pause. Anyway, I'm back now. I had a little cough. It's my hay fever. Oh my God, my allergies are so bad right now. Does anyone else have hay fever? Like seasonal allergies? Anyway. Anyway, anyway, let's talk about books. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the next book I want to show you. And it's by Liz Kessler. I have read a couple of other books by her. And they were quite good. So... Yeah, this is actually inspired by a true story and I know it's going to be like super emotional but I've heard some really good things about this book and um, as I say it's based on like a true story which I always like reading um, like fiction where it's got like a connection with a real true story as well if that makes sense, yeah. Okay. So this one is called When the World Was Ours. When the world was ours. When the world was ours. And it says three friends, two sides, one memory. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what it's about, okay? So it says it is set in uh, 1936 in Vienna. Leo, Elsa and Max have been best friends for years since the day they met they've been a team of three but then the nazis come and their lives once so tightly woven together take on very different paths leo must rely on the kindness of strangers to escape the rising threat to the jewish people elsa like leo is hated for simply being who she is to be safe she must run and Max suddenly finds that he is the danger his friends are trying so desperately to escape as his father rises through the Nazi ranks. So yeah, it says, inspired by a true story, life-affirming, heartbreaking, shows the bonds of love, family, friendship, and glimmers of hope, even in the most hopeless of times. So yeah, this is going to be, as I say, a really emotional read. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's that one. The world was ours. Oh, when the world was ours. Okay, so we've got one more book left. And like, I'm excited to read all of my new books, obviously. But this one has got like a special place in my heart because I absolutely love books about circuses i don't know why but i just do like just it's just exciting and this one actually one of my viewers recommended to me which is really sweet of them and uh, i'd not heard of this book but she messaged me and she's like oh my god laura you're gonna love this one it's you know your cup of tea so i checked it out and thought yep that's good and so i purchased it Anyway, it's called The Ladies of the Secret Circus. The Ladies of the Secret Circus. Love this cover. It's just so gorgeous, isn't it? Like the dark red and the gold and stuff. And it's like that circus vibe. It's just, oh, it's just beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful.
Paris 1925 to enter the sacred circus is to enter a world of wonder, a world where women weave illusions, carousels take you back in time, and trapeze artists float across the sky. Bound to her family's circus, it's the only world Cecile Cabot knows until she meets a charismatic young painter and embarks on a passionate love affair that could cost her everything. So then we go forward to 2004 in, as I say, Virginia. And it says here, when Laura Barnes' fiancé disappears on their wedding day, every plan she has for the future comes crashing down. Desperate for answers, Laura's search unexpectedly leads to her great-grandmother's lost journals. Swept into a story of a dark circus and ill-fated love, secrets about Lara's family history come to light and reveal a curse that has been claiming payment from the women in her family for generations. A curse that might be tied to her fiancé's mysterious fate. Ooh. It says here that um, it's fresh and original and you should be prepared to be dazzled. Ooh, I like that. Prepared to be dazzled. That's cool. Um, so yeah, that's that one. The Ladies of the Secret Circus. So, out of all these books that I've shown you, which one have you, like, been most interested in? Like, which is your favourite? Um, if I had to pick a favourite, which I don't want to do because, well, you know, I love them all, obviously, and I'm excited to read them all. But I would probably go uh, with this one, as I say, because I do love reading books about circuses. Okay, so um, I'm just going to finish. I'm going to finish my part of the collab off with some like book tapping sounds with these books, okay? And just behind me, I wanted to show you uh, is my bookcase. I've actually got one, two, three, four bookcases in the house. Um, in this one, like in this bookcase, I keep all like my collection of uh, different book series. And my favourite book series of all time is The Mobile Instruments by Cassandra Clare. So yeah, I keep like all my different series 